Good morning. Happy Saturday. Kirili Faith here. I'm a partner in crime for <laughs> Michael and my other partner in crime back there, Peanut, which I guess he's camera shy now. Um, we're going on another Saturday adventure. We are headed north. We are headed east. I don't know if this is east or that is east, but we're heading east. Really? And uh, yeah, he doesn't know where we're going. So it's going to be a surprise. You get to experience it as as he does. It's, it's already a surprise. She told the northwest. So oh, <laughs> I'm a little directionally challenged. So I got my binoculars. With the binoculars I'm always ready. show the way. <laughs> so Jack Sparrow's compass. <laughs> the binoculars always show the way. So I have, uh, I'm ready to go. I've got notes here, lots of notes. Um, and I got a book. So let's, uh, let's do this. decided to stop because we want to kind of climb up here and see and show you guys the tunnel. Um, so I just want to let you know the extent of which I'm going for you. Private property, no trespassing. Sometimes you just got to break some rules. The only thing we've heard is a frog anyway. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing else. We're going up there. <laughs> Somehow, I'm pretty sure how we're getting there. We'll, we'll find a way. But there's a will, there's a way. So, see you at the top. This is an active railway. And trains run every 20 minutes, so I'm not exactly going to lay down on the tracks or anything. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's like uh, some Wild Wild West stuff. Not sure where he's going, but he's going. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Rail yoga. Whistle blowing, rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Dying to blow your horn. I don't see the tunnel. And back we go to an actual road, which we haven't seen in hours. <laughs> We are finally approaching the end of the dirt road and hopping on State Route 317, also known as Rainbow Canyon. And, um, and you gotta love signs with bullet holes in them. Oh, signs with bullet holes. Hey, that's classy. Um, 
so Rainbow Canyon is actually a um, 21.7 mile road that is supposedly one of the most scenic roads in Southern Nevada. Uh, oh, Elgin School State Park. We want to stop there. El Elgin. Elgin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Elgin. El Elgin. Whatever you say. Wait, <laughs> you're always right. Here we are at the Elgin <laughs> Schoolhouse <laughs> State Park or State Historical Area. If you look in the back, you can uh, you can see the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse was built in 1922, and in 1924, if you see toward the back, you'll see three windows. Um, they built an addition on it, which was an apartment for a teacher to live in. So it was pretty easy to find teachers uh, to teach here because they got to live somewhere for free. I didn't think we would encounter is a cool train car. That's pretty neat. It's an old caboose. Oh, it's a caboose. Oh, so. wow, it's a caboose. So there's an area here along Rainbow Canyon called Finlay Crack. And it is an area that a lot of climbers come. And I was reading that you just know. You know when you've gotten to it. So I'm trying to figure out exactly which one of these cracks it is. Because it's supposed to be pretty famous amongst the climbing world. If you look really closely right there, there are anchors. And then you go up, there's some more anchors. And then you reach the top. This is Finlay Crack. If you drive all this way to come drive the Rainbow Canyon, which the easiest access point without having to drive on a dirt road, is drive up to Caliente and then hop on Rainbow Canyon, AKA State Road 317 from there. Um, and you get to enjoy trains. It, so uh, allegedly we will go through lots of We'll go under the train track several times. I'm looking forward to that. Yep. Welcome to the town of Caliente. In Caliente here, it is the only incorporated town in Lincoln County. Population 1132. I mean 1132. But they got a really cool building here. Little train, this train, train station. station. It's so cool. Wow. We don't know what this is. But it's like a falcon. It's really I think it looks like Michael a says it looks like a falcon. But we're not sure. It's not an owl. We've encountered lots of critters today. Welcome to Echo Canyon State Park. Look at the deer. This has been our wildlife adventure. The next animal we have on wild. deck of today's tour is wild turkeys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do something to say about my turkey. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is, one of the finer things I've ever heard. <laughs> We're here in the place that we don't know. It says Eagle Valley Resort. Anyway, we're on a crappy street. This is a crappy street. <laughs> Uh, that's a fish. It's called a crappie. It's a type of fish. That does not look like an O. It looks like an A. Crappy. This is a crappy street. Especially because I don't know how to spell crappy. Absolutely. C it's crappy. Why? 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 Tell them what you did. <laughs> I killed or, a flower. <laughs> you killed it. It's a very nice flower. I got it for you. <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's why you killed it. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Pinaka. We've got another stop to make. We did 
made it. After all that driving around and everything, we made it to Panaka Spring in Panaka. Um, and it's pretty big, so let's go. It's a warm spring, not a hot spring. The temperature is about 88 degrees. It's supposed to be really, really clear, really beautiful. Obviously, it's pretty common amongst the locals. And uh, we're going to just see how comfy it is. Here we go. It's more like a warm. Ooh. It's actually cool. It's actually cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is not cold, but it's not quite warm. I would say it's it's a little cooler than the outside temperature, and the outside temperature is what. 88. 88. So I would say this is maybe 82, 84. It's still cool. Uh, it's super clear. You can see it's about five foot at its deepest. And it's just fun to get all the minerals that are so good for your skin into your pores. Put the condoms in your tubes. It's great. The only thing that's gross is this blobby stuff. <laughs> We are done here. Have a good time? I had a blast. So much fun. <laughs> so much fun. All right. Look at this super duper old tree. It's incredible. There's like all big fat bark chipping off. It's amazing. As you know, I started hiding gifts wherever I go. So yesterday I picked up a three person tent and that's what we're going to be hiding today. If you see, I have a little card here that says, if you find this, it's for you. Basically, it explains who I am, why I hide things, and it has my ways to contact me um, because I think it would be cool if someone reached out. I am putting in a copy of my book inside the little tent holder. It's actually good when you get a tent or a backpack because it's easy to stuff a book into. It was a little hard when I had the hammock. I couldn't necessarily like stuff a book into a tiny little hammock. So we are going to put this, there isn't many good places to put this here, uh, but a lot of people come visit, so I know it will be picked up. So we're just gonna like tuck it away by, by the cactus garden, because that's smart, right? I'm just gonna put it right here for somebody to find. Make sure the card's sticking out. And you know, hopefully, hopefully some kid will find it. So, how's my hair? It's drying. <laughs> On our way to Panaka, we stopped at the Sinclair in Caliente, and uh, I bought one of these frosted peanut butter bars, and it was legit. Like, and I will say, like the best thing we ever tasted, ever. So we're on our way back to have lunch, and we stopped there again because I wanted to see if they had more and buy everything that they had. And I did. I just bought a case of them. <laughs> I bought everything. I bought them out of the Janie Lou's Frosted Peanut Butter Cookie Bar. Crazy good. Crazy good. Made in Salt Lake City. Uh, I, it's just, this is the stuff dreams are made of right here. Our final stop. Kershaw Ryan State Park. This was non-COVID world. You could go to a spring here, a natural spring that they made look like a pool. Um, but it's really, really beautiful ground. They have a couple of uh, short trails here. It's just a great spot to have a nice little picnic. Like I said, a little oasis in the middle of the desert. Got some grills, even has a sink. But I think you need to reserve it. It's only five bucks to get in, so come check it out. Here we are at the end of another adventure post picnic at Ken Crenshaw, Kenshaw? Kershaw. Kershaw. Kershaw Ryan. Get... It's really hard to remember. <laughs> Kershaw Ryan State Park. The weather is beautiful here, even though it's in the middle of summer in Vegas. It's the middle of summer here too, but the, the temperature is in the mid 80s. It's so comfortable. Today we have seen everything from scenic drives to where climbers climb up to tons of wildlife to train tracks and hot springs and two state parks. We covered a lot 
of ground. We had a great time playing wherever we want. We got some great peanut butter bars. <laughs> um, and we are just, it's been a great day. I really hope someone finds the tent too. I will definitely, definitely keep you posted. Thanks so much for, for tuning in, for watching the video. Hopefully you're inspired to get out there and go adventure yourself, go out and play, whatever that means for you. And I will see you on the next adventure.